You see, training, so you got to try the uh, the eighty or the old. eighty. The That's 80 pretty crazy. That is. That actually, their tasting was unreal. Some of the stuff they were like, yeah. there's a Mortlock seventy one year old on there. Man, they those guys do it upright, dude. Gordon McPhail are. They're, they're putting on the best shows. Yeah. In, in the world right I now. I mean, yeah. I'm the Super Social Club. I'm Jeremy. This is Whiskey in the Six. I'm Rob. Welcome to the Whiskey Ramp Podcast. It's a little crusty. It's frustrating. And it's going to be a little bit of a rant. I don't understand it. I don't know why. Some sort of injustice. Anyway, end rant. Hello and welcome back to the Whiskey Ramp Podcast. I'm Jeremy. I'm Rob. And tonight we are doing the Whiskey Draft. Whiskey Draft. Are you familiar with fantasy sports? Do you know a lot of fantasy drafts? I, I used to be big into fantasy sports. Okay. Now I just like one hockey draft a year, that's it. I can't yeah, you know what? I used to have like three football f- like teams. I used to do two hockey te- It was just too much. It's a lot. It's a I'm, job. It is a lot. It's a job. Especially like baseball is yeah, insane. I can imagine. But tonight we're doing whiskey. Tonight's going to be fun. Yeah, so this is how it's going to work. We have assembled, between our personal collections, 35 bottles that are eligible to be drafted. So we're going to go back and forth, me versus you. We're going to assemble a team of bottles with a salary cap of 1,000 Canadian dollars. Every single bottle here, we've priced for what we personally paid for. Obviously, prices on bottles are different in every single market. Yeah. We went with what we paid That's for right. these and we got some of these at great deals we did we we got a lot of these at great deals but it's impossible to go by that because i mean i bought one bottle at retail and then i bought another that exact same bottle but a backup of it at secondary so like yeah. how do you and i mean some of these purchases we made at retail at the time of release now you look at these things they've you know gone yeah. up 10 times the price Absolutely. but we're going to be for for the cir- for the purposes of this what we paid originally for these bottles behind us. Yeah. Um, 35 of them, we've assembled a spreadsheet. It'll be available in the comment section uh, in the description of this video. You can take a look at all the stuff that's up for grabs. This is how it's gonna work. We're gonna assemble a team and then we're gonna ask you guys at the very end, vote on which team of bottles you would like the most. Yeah. And one lucky person is gonna be drawn and they're gonna win a sample from the winning team's uh, bottles. So like, should we do a shot clock as far as like <laughs> picking? Clock, yeah. yeah, because it, it it changes the game. It, it really does. does. It does. Because if you have all day to, to pick, you're gonna like. You know, I think that you know we'll have a gentleman's agreement. Of, yeah, you know, what, we're not gonna waste try a to, bunch of time. Try to have something in mind before you go after it. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely some good value picks in here. There's some expensive bottles. There's some more you know, uh, on the cheaper side, but everything here is delicious stuff. And I would be happy with any one of these bottles. Yeah, for the most part, I think, yeah, I don't think there's anything I would balk at, that's for sure. So leave us a comment when you uh, see at the very final, leave us a comment down below and either pick Team Rob or Team Jeremy and uh, the winning team, someone's gonna be selected from that. And uh, we're gonna give you a sample of every single thing we pick. Every single thing we pick. From the winning team. From the winning team. The winning team, yeah. That's intense. That's intense. That's a lot of samples. Yeah, well, we'll see. So we have a $1,000 budget. So uh, let's start building. Okay, so I'm going to flip a coin here. Yeah. You're going to call it. Call it in the air. Tails never fails. Heads. Oh, shit. (laughs) Did you want to do that again? (laughs) Yeah, I would like to do it again. Can I call heads this time? <laughs> no, no, you All get right. first pick. First so, pick. I already know what I'm picking. Yeah. Yeah, it's easy. Okay, go ahead. <sighs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the Springbank 8 from 2021. Uh, this was the Society Bottling. Mm-hmm. What do we have it priced at? $90? So, yeah, we got a amazing deal on this. Um, so, Springbank Society... $90 Canadian, we paid for that bottle. Yeah. Um, potentially the best Springbank at eight years old ever. I mean, I don't know. It could be. It, potentially. It's amazing. It, it's incredible. It It's one of the best Springbanks I've ever tasted, yeah. period. End of story. Yeah. Right? So, I mean, I have a list of Springbanks that I think are in my top five, and this makes it. Yeah. Right? So, really good. All right, so we've got the spreadsheet here. So you spent $90, obviously you have 910 remaining. We're gonna keep track of it because obviously you cannot go over. Um, but yeah, that was gonna be my first pick as well. I mean, it's just like for the quality you get out of this bottle, Stupid. for the price, I mean, you have to pick it first overall. I wonder if, if it's only eight years old because 
I mean, we can't talk too much about each bottle that we pick, but this is 1,830 bottles total in this outrun. Yeah. And it's eight years old, but it drinks so much older than that. Yeah, it, did, it, it really does. I don't know how, I mean, it, it could be only eight. They do some funky things, but you never know. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're off to a flying start. Um, I've got my eye on a couple of things. I think I'm gonna have to go with this. Nice pick. The Deanston 10 PX Cast Strength. This was an epic, epic bottling. That and was... what do we have this thing priced at? This was a great deal. This yeah. was an absolute great deal. Uh, Deanston 10 PX, $80. Mm -hmm. What a good value uh, that was. This is like one of the best Deanstons I've ever had. Yeah. Really is. Yeah, no, it, it is the best Deanston I've ever had by far. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's for me, for sure. And the, the only thing that comes close to that for me is the Bordeaux cask. <clears throat> which was also really good. Yeah. But this is the best Deanston I've ever had. Yeah, this one, I've been just nursing it down. Um, I do have a backup of this one, actually, as well. But, uh, yeah, great value and definitely one of the best Deanstons, if not the best, that we've tried. Yeah. All right. That's uh, throwing it back at me. And I think I'm going to have to go with this bad boy right here. Ooh, the Lot 4012 Cast Strength. Lot 4012 Cast Strength. Now... The reason why I'm picking this is at retail, we were buying these for 70 bucks. I mean, yeah. Honestly, yeah, $70. At the time, I don't think there's a better buy. Like, I mean, even then. For Canadian whiskey? Canadian whiskey, I the mean, one. This was the best, possibly, potentially, arguably, the best Canadian whiskey ever bottled. Yes. That we've tried. Yeah. Yeah. In the last X number of years, 100% it is. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. That's my pick. Yeah. That's a great pick as well. Um, there's a couple things on here that I might need to like take a time out and try because there's a bottle back here the Ardbeg Kelpie. Kelpie. Now I found this at the back of my shelf and I was like, Ardbeg Kelpie? I don't even remember tasting that. What one. is that? What is Ardbeg Kelpie? I think it's the one that has that like a little bit more grassy kind of note to it. It was the one with like the seaweed. I honestly don't remember. I don't remember it. The seaweed um, committee release label, right? I believe. I mean, it's nice on the nose. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. Does Don't it good? Pick it. What do we have the Arbeg Kelpie priced at? One fifty. It's a good price. It is it's a good price. price. But um. I think there's something else back there that is pretty special and also a good value. This compass box, Enlightenment. This bad boy has Kleinleash and other things. I know it's like, it's like I think it's half Kleinleash and half something else. But this was one of my favorite compass boxes of all time. It was like this, the circus yep. was really, really the good. This was excellent. Um, this compass box, Enlightenment. Um, I paid, what, how much did I pay for this? We got it listed at 170. I think that's a great price for what you're getting. Um, and a bottle that, you know, only had a couple thousand, uh, releases. So super rare and, uh, an amazing blended yeah. malt. Nice. Good pick. <clears throat> All right. So we've each made two picks. All right. Um, you spent 160, I spent 250. All right. I'm up now. You're up. We're gonna have to go with my buddy over here. The Glen Allen Key 12. Glen Allen Key 12. This is another value. You're hitting pick. great value. Um, 70 bucks, right? I mean, it depended yeah. on where you bought it. I think at one point I saw it for like $60. Um, Incredibly priced in Alberta for whatever reason mm -hmm. in the last little while. Yeah, and it keeps going on sale, and you'll get like you'll catch it on sale at around 60 70 bucks. Yeah, I love it, and it's one of the best. Go this, I'm, this is probably my second bottle of it that I've I crush it. Yeah, I like it. I mean, I've recently purchased eight bottles of it. Yeah, I just I'm just buying it up. Yeah, because like well. it's such a great year for it. 
Uh, it was my whiskey of the year, 2021. Great with a cigar. It's great with everything. Yeah. It's like if you want a sherry scotch yeah. for $70 Canadian, Stupid. I mean, you can't find that value. No. It's insane. At, at 12 years old, yeah. 46%, uncho filtered, all those fun things. My goodness. Yeah. All right. Um, I don't think if I got my eye on something. Um, I just want to check the price. I mean, I'm spending a lot of money here. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I got to put a spring bank on the team. I think I'm going to have to go the 10 year old local barley. This was the 2019 19. release. Just before uh, it looked like this color. <laughs> right. Um, I love this one. This was an absolute great, great spring bank. Um, we tried the nine-year-old the pre year previous, I believe. We weren't huge on that. Right. They redeemed themselves big time with this 10-year-old. I thought it was absolutely delicious. Yeah. Um, $200 yeah. Canadian, which is an expensive bottle, but uh, for what you're getting, I think well worth it. So $200 Canadian, I mean, that you you nailed it because the nine year old was way worse for my for the money than mm -hmm. that ten year old. I don't know what it was. It, like it drank like new make to me. Yeah. So I was like, Meh. Just yeah, not, we weren't big on that, and no. I think we both were kind of in the same consensus with that. We got some flack. I mean, I did. I remember yeah. in the comment section yeah. when I reviewed it, and I still gave it a decent score. Yep. But uh, from our experience, we were like, meh. I think it's a letdown year for the local barley. I agree. I agree. Okay, so right now we've each made three selections. You still have seven hundred and seventy dollars left. I only have five fifty because I'm spending big time. All right, I'll be there soon. I'll be there soon. I'm on my fourth bottle. I'm thinking I'll go something a little bit more uh, hefty on the wallet, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna go with this archives right here. Ooh. So this archives is. From two distilleries, two space dyed distilleries, it says right here. It's called the Burnside, distilled at two space dyed distilleries, vintage 1996. It's a 25 year old, basically a 25 year old Balvini with a teaspoon Glenfiddich in it. Wow. So a little bit of Glenfiddich, mostly Balvini, and it has everything that you're looking for in your like Balvini ton or your really yeah like i don't know you tell me i've never tried this before i'm getting a pour of it right now i would really like to try this so uh 250 canadian dollars that was my well i, I think i paid like 243 but for the sake of the video let's call it 250. okay so you want me to switch it to 243 i can switch it to 243? no no i mean for seven bucks i don't think it's gonna we gotta matter. be accurate man seven dollars could be <laughs> could be uh make or break for you <laughs> it's 243. all right all right i'm gonna switch it to 243. Saves you seven dollars. Let's try this out. Oh, it's like very sweet. And you, I love it because you get that like that honey, mm -hmm. that salted honey that you get from Balvini on the nose is there right away. And it, you can, it's so identifiably oh, Balvini yeah. in my opinion. And very syrupy. Yeah. Wow. And cast strength. What like th what is the equivalent of a twenty-five year old cast strength Balvini right now? Psh. I don't even know. They, they don't make it. They don't make it. Yeah. So the twenty-five year old is what a thousand bucks. The ton is between four hundred and six hundred dollars, depending on where you're buying it. Yeah. This is two hundred forty-three dollars. I mean, the independent bottling market is really where you want to find scotch nowadays, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yep. All so right. that's my pick. Nice. There's still lots of good stuff lots out here. Lots of good stuff. Lots of good stuff. Lots of good stuff. I'm, I'm doing what I do in like the hockey dress and like don't look at that page because then someone's going to see that you're looking at that page and they're going to try to pick what you're picking. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to venture out into the only Japanese whiskey we currently have mm. on the table. This one's hiding back here. The Yakushu 12 year old. It's a good one. This, um, you know, we obviously bought this back in retail days. Yeah. Um, price on this one was what, 125? Yeah, something. $120. Like $120. $120. Yeah, back when it was about 90 bucks US. Crazy. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Did I, I trade that bottle to you? Yeah. I, it was like a half bottle trade? Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Half bottle trade, I think. Um, no. No, you traded it to me. No, no, no. I bought this one. 
or did I buy that? But did I buy one as well? Because I had one. I know I, I bought this one. I know yeah. I did a head to head with Hakushi 12 and Yamazaki 12. Yeah. No, I bought this one for sure. Good bottle. I yeah. wish they would have bottled at 46. That's the only. I mean, that's my course. only of knock. But that's all Japanese whiskey. Pretty but much. I mean, for the retail price of this, you cannot go wrong with this. Uh, really, really good Japanese whiskey. Right. All right. I already know what I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna go with this blue spot seven year old. Good value. Um, 58.9 percent. There's 24 year old or 21 year old. 21 year old Madeira whiskey in here. Madeira aged whiskey in here. And it was $100 retail at the LCBO, which was retail the best price globally, probably. Yeah, I right? think so, because so we were seeing it well over 100 US. 50 pounds, the equivalent, uh, $70 American, the equivalent. Like, mm -hmm. I think most American stores had this for 300 US. Mm -hmm. So for our price, which yeah. was $100, shout out to our boy P Boss Paulo uh, for getting that one for me. I drove around like a madman. Yeah. Put a lot of kilometers on the car. Yeah. And like, you know, was able to get one, luckily. Yeah. But yeah. almost missed out again. Yeah. But 100 bucks. All right. So right now, um, you have $427 remaining. Mm -hmm. I have $430 remaining. So we're almost neck and neck here. We're neck and neck, but, but you I have, have an extra bottle. Get, yeah. <laughs> you have an extra bottle. <laughs> I've done an extra pick. Um, but that doesn't mean anything. It could change real quick. There's lots of good stuff on here. Mm -hmm. Lots of good stuff still remaining. Where do I want to go? Where do I want to go? I think... I think I got to go and value play... I think I got to go that Andrew Dower 12-year-old cast strength. Oof. This is a freaking cherry bomb. And what a good price that got this at retail yeah. when it first came out. A price that no longer exists. A price that no longer exists, <laughs> but I think I paid, um, where do I have it on here? $140. Um, yeah, you cannot go wrong with that. That is an absolute great price mm -hmm. for cast strength, nacho filtered, no other color whiskey, um, at 12 years old and it's just a pure sherry bomb and it's it's powerful yeah, it's, it's like one of the most powerful sherry bombs it's strong you it's get. it's heavy sherry cast strength it's the it's the whiskey that would convert the barrel proof bourbon guy yeah i think and this is a 2006 mm -hmm. distillate bottled 2019 um it's cask number 348 yeah. if you know that cask it's a good one yeah. i just purchased a new one and it, even at a deal even at a sale price, I got it for more than what you paid. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, getting uh, getting a little bit more intense here. <laughs> getting a little bit more intense here. We're get we're cutting down to the wire almost. We, we got well, like a couple of choices left. That's it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, where do I go from here? I'm gonna go with this Kill Karen sixteen right here. Sure. One hundred and forty bucks. Which is, in my opinion, for a 16-year-old Kill Karen, put this in perspective for a second. Yeah. 46%, 16-year-old, 2020 Kill Karen, 2021 Kill Karen, sorry, I lied. 2021, 16-year-old Kill Karen, and it was $140. I walked into the LCBO today to buy a tequila, and I just looked at the shelf, and I saw a McAllen 15-year-old double cask for 200 and, what did I tell you it was? 200 20, 230 or something? 230? Yeah, it's stupid. Like, it's like barf. Like, <laughs> this is 16 years old, kill Karen, 46%, yeah. everything you want, it's Campbelltown, mm -hmm. but, and, and it wasn't one of those ones where it came out and it flew off the shelf. Yeah. It, it stuck around for a little bit. People yeah. had a chance at it. Yeah. 140 bucks. Yeah. 140 bucks. So, yeah. That's yeah, you cannot think. go wrong. It's a nice, easy drinking whiskey. Oh, yeah. um, it's essentially like just the twelve-year-old, but like more refined and, and more complex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really liked it. All right, my pick. Hmm. So a lot of good options. My budget currently I only have two hundred and ninety dollars remaining. Mm -hmm. Kind of limits what I can go with. Um, that it's you know what killed you. With the budget was the the Springbank local barley. Hey, I think it's well worth it. I'm not saying it's not. I'm yeah. just saying 
I think that that took that made you take a hit. Well, yeah, of course. It was the most expensive bottle on my, on my team. Yeah. Um, let's see here. All right, I gotta really be strategic about what I pick. I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go the long row, red, the refill, nice Malbec. Pick. Nice pick. Um, we love Long Row Red. That's a beauty. Um, that one's one of the better ones. Yeah, there's been some really, really good ones. Some, yeah. only so. a couple maybe were just okay. Yeah, there's a few that were not, not that great. Like but, the, uh, the first one wasn't great apparently. I never tried it though. Yeah, I did try it. You said it wasn't um, the greatest. No. This one's good. Yeah, this one's really good. Um, you know, you can't go wrong with the, the Long Row Red, especially at the price. Yeah. Like, what did price. we paid? Um, 120? 110? Was it? 120? I don't know. What do we have it listed at? I'm trying to find it. Uh, right there. 120. Yeah, 120. Um, Good pick. Cannot go wrong. Great with bottle. 120 bucks. Great bottle. Yeah. All right, what do I got left here? I got $287 dollars left. 287 and with that, I can either go one big bottle, or I can do two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm, it's a tough one. We've already played ourselves out of the Springbank Twenty One. We can't get that. <laughs> I, I, I had we a do, feeling stuff like that was Spring Bank Twenty One on there, but uh, at four hundred and thirty dollars, it eats your whole budget. It's almost half your budget. This, you know what? This is a social experiment. Mm -hmm. This is a great social experiment. We we need to talk about this for a second. So yeah, we're yeah. gonna take a time out. Yeah. What did we do just now? If we were limited to a thousand dollars, which that's what we were. Yeah. And we had to pick bottles. Mm -hmm. We went for bargain buys. Yeah. We went for bargain buys. We didn't go for the best bottle on the table. Arguably, this this Springbank Twenty One is the best bottle on the table. Yeah. But we didn't choose it. Yeah. Because it ate up too much of our budget. Mm -hmm. And if we're stranded on that island and we only had a thousand dollars to take whatever whiskey we can buy in that moment, yeah. We chose. Yeah. And we priced ourselves out of that bottle very quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, yes, because like these were all for what we paid, very good value buys. Right. So I mean, yes, a ninety-three score means a lot. A ninety-two score means a lot. But at the end of the day, your budget means more. Mm -hmm. Your budget means more. That's it. I'd rather. It would be interesting though because our viewers are gonna vote on what team they like the most. Right. If one of us did pink the Springbank 21, which is a very hard ball to get, right? it's very hard to buy at retail price, yep. maybe that might get the votes because that person might want to try that whiskey that they haven't tried it's it yet. It's true. I mean, it is, like I said, it's a social experiment. We're going to find out based on what they think. Yeah. I mean, now it's too late, but it, just based on a, you and I, mm -hmm. I, I thought that was, I think that's pretty interesting. Yeah. I think that's pretty interesting. All right. Man, I have Campbelltown well represented here, so I'm not gonna go another Springbank, although one of the likely picks I would have made would have been that, uh, see, but it's just so hard not to pick that. Just so hard not to pick that. There is uh, some stuff that's hiding back here, Craig yeah. Moore 20 cast strength. Yeah, good bottles. The <laughs> McAllen Edition 2, which we originally paid 174. Great now, bottle. Honestly, like, there's nothing wrong with that bottle. What's McAllen Edition 2 go for nowadays? A buddy of mine just traded that straight up for a THH. Yeah, right. Thomas H. Handy. So what's that, like 13, yeah, like yeah, 11, I was gonna say, bucks? It's like, it's almost $1,500. Oh, yeah, I, mean, I would say like, at least 1000 bucks. Crazy. Yeah. At it's least insane. A thousand bucks. It's insane what the edition two went for. Yeah. Okay, I got two picks pretty much left. Uh, maybe three. I got maybe three picks left. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go a little bit more here. I'm gonna go with the Ooh. a knock twenty four. Twenty four year old. Get a little bit of age in there. I got two older bottles here. I got the 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 Burnside and the Anok twenty four. 46%, nice color to it, no added color, unchill filtered, all those fun things. 
Two hundred dollars. Two hundred bucks, man. Mm-hmm. Like what? 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 Ob bottle. Yeah. Is two hundred bucks at almost twenty five years old? Yeah. None. I hear you. I can't think of one. Can you think of any? Uh, no. None. No. There's not one. That's crazy. <clears throat> yeah, that's insane. Scotch. We're talking scotch, <laughs> right? Yeah. Like obviously you can find a Alberta Premium twenty year old for what is it? hundred bucks, not eighty bucks. Yeah. But yeah, no, that's crazy. So what are we at? Okay, so you currently have eighty seven dollars remaining. Yep. And I have one seventy. I I've already used up one more pick than you did, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I am gonna go so I can either maybe pick one bottle. Or I can maybe go two. So for what's remaining, some stuff I cannot pick. Mm-hmm. But I think there's a good value pick in here with that's an amazing whiskey. And it's the Kilcarran 8-year-old cast strength. This is the 2020 release, the Sherry Cask. The second Sherry Cask. Second edition of the this Sherry's. Is the first fill Sherry, not the recharge Sherry that that people went nuts for. Correct. So this is the 2020 <laughs> bottling, uh, 200, sorry, $110. 110 bucks. I mean, for 110 bucks, absolutely all day for sure. Got to put that on the team. Your next pick's going to be tough. <laughs> yeah, you know, there's, like only, one option. <laughs> there's one option left. So you better not pick it. <laughs> <laughs> I could totally screw you right now. <laughs> I could totally screw Jay. So you got right $87 now. left. I got 60 bucks left. What are you picking? What do we say the, um, what do we mark the, I need to see some pricing here for Yeah, second. yeah. So the peat smoke is 80. The other one that I was looking at was the, um, <clears throat> the Aaron 10 is like 57, right? Aaron 10, 56 bucks. 56 bucks. Yeah. Which is also a good pick. And the Knob Creek is 62 our price, which much less in the U.S. probably, but. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I'll leave you your Aaron 10. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and I'll go with this. Because this, honestly, is really, really good whiskey. Ben Romick, Pete Smoke. Ben Romick Pete Smoke. It's nine years old, 46%, uh, 55 ppm. Have you tried this? Yes. It is delicious. I love it. It's the great mix between Pete and Sherry. It's well balanced. Yeah. If I remember Thanksgiving, correctly. Thanksgiving, like smoked ham all day. Yeah. And like cranberry topping. Um, so that is the Ben, Re- ben Romick, sorry. Ben Romick. For 80 bucks. So that closes out your team with a total uh, spend of $993. And the only bottle that's left, well, I guess, yeah, the only bottle that's left that I can pick is the Aaron 10, which I, at $56. Steal. Absolutely the best deal in Scotch whiskey right now, in my opinion. Um, you cannot go wrong with this quality. Yeah. Not just color, no added color. 56%, sorry, uh, 46% ABV. Yeah. Um, you know, it's like the malt characteristic on this is just so good. You get a nice balance of sweetness and honey, and there's like some cotton candy kind of note to it. Yeah. They did a really good job blending it. Um, it was Ralphie's Whiskey of the Year for a reason. It was the Online Scotch Whiskey Awards Whiskey of the Year for a reason. Yep. And I mean, you could not beat the price. No. So that caps out my team. Yeah. Uh, uh, $996 spent. So yeah. I got $4 left over. You got $7 left over. Yeah. I got eight bottles. You got eight, eight bottles. bottles. We each have eight bottles. We both have eight bottles. So run down your team one more time. Okay. Starting over here is the Anak 24 year old, 46%, mostly sherry. Um, the Kilcarran 16. 2021, 46%. The Burnside, which is a Balvini Archives, 25 year old, 54.7%. What'd you think of that, by the way? It's great. Yeah, it's really good. Um, Glenalkey 12, 
nice and dark, 46%. The OG Lot 40 cast strength, 20 year old, 100% rye. 12 year old. 12 year old. 100% rye, 55%. The possibly my favorite bottle on this entire bar, like uh -huh. including whatever I have up there. Um, Springbank eight year old, the Connor McDavid in the draft, I think. <laughs> 57.3%. And then Ben Romick, peat smoke, uh, mostly sher all sherry, I think. Sherry cask matured, um, 46%, 55 ppm. And then last but not least, the blue spot, seven year old cast strength. That's my team. Great team. Uh, my team consists of the Kilcarran 8-year-old Sherry 2020 release, the Akushu 12 Japanese Whiskey, Deanston 10 Cast Strength PX uh, limited edition, the Long Row Red, this is the Refill Malbec, Compass Box Enlightenment, a very rare bottle, uh, Springbank 10 Local Barley, the 2019 release, Edredor, uh 2006 uh, Distillate, Bottle 2019, 12 years old, cast strength, cherry bomb, and the value whiskey of the world, Aaron 10 year old, 46% um, non chill filtered. So, you guys have the say. In the comments section, are you Team Rob or Team Jeremy? Make a comment, either of our channels. Um, the winning team will have someone selected from them, and they're gonna win their pick of your samples or my samples. Eight samples they're gonna be getting, regardless of who you pick. Um, all amazing whiskey, so yeah, the competition is on. Mm -hmm. We'll leave it up for, what, a week or something, and then we'll announce on our next podcast, Yeah, we will do the draw, um, and we'll see who the winner is. Might not be our next podcast, because if we film another one today, then it wouldn't be that one. Okay. Once the drop, once in, the, in, in a podcast, in a future podcast, in a future podcast, <laughs> a future podcast. we might we might fit one more tonight, right? But uh, in a future podcast, right. we will do the draw. Perfect, and we'll see. Uh, no losers here. That's fun. Think. We should do this every year. Yeah, I think next year we focus on just new buys, mm. right? Yeah, or just whiskeys that like. Yeah, I guess I don't know. We'll, we'll have to come yeah. up with new terms. New buys make sense because a lot of these things we bought a long time ago for yeah. prices that. No one's getting nowadays. No, exactly. Right. Yeah, so I think it would be it would make sense to do just new buys, just new things that we had that year. Or what's a pick? what's a bottle that got left um, that maybe you had your eye on that you didn't pick? Uh, there's a lot still. Yeah. This is a lot, the, you know I I keep going back to that two brewers twenty eight. I enjoy it. Yeah. I really like it. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, the Springbank 10-year-old and the Springbank 12-year-old are both fantastic whiskeys. Yeah, I'm surprised the 12-year-old didn't get it. I was very close to picking that. I yeah. just, you know, I, I had a lot of Campbelltown represented on my on my table here, so I figured I uh -huh. might as well just leave it. And then, uh, you know what? For price, I mean, the the, the Lafroy Cartridge is a great buy. Yeah. That new PX. Um the you know, the Macallan Two Edition Two is actually a really good bottle. Yeah, but I mean, we didn't pick any of the bourbon. <laughs> no, we didn't pick any of the bourbon. Only only one non oh no two non Scotch were picked. Uh, grabbed the yeah, wrong bottle. I grabbed you grabbed the Canadian whiskey. Yeah. Oh, you brought an Irish too. Oh yeah. Three. And I had and I have a Japanese whiskey. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I mean, we had the Mictor's Ten Year Old, which actually was a decent price because I think I paid one. 10 120 us that's a great so price yeah that's not bad yeah because that's going for like around 200 bucks now at least oh i think more yeah we had the craig and Moore 20 year old cash strength which we both love the 2020 release and that was a great price that was a good price too that was a great price but it it, it boils down to like what you prefer mm -hmm. and like is that craig and Moore two points better or three points better? like how much more pleasure are you going to get out of that bottle than you're going to get out of something that's on here like yeah. if you had the chance now to swap out anything would you do that like without with on your team <laughs> <laughs> yeah it takes some bottles that you picked but uh no i don't think so i mean for, with the budget constraints i mean that daft meal down at the bottom yeah the um, i great really like that right? but also but again that's like 200 over 200 bucks yeah for the bottle so uh, pretty expensive it's funny because we keep 
I I know I take a lot of heat for buying more expensive bottles and for like the first time in a very long time I've been trying to buy stuff that's under 200 bucks mm -hmm. and we pretty much picked a whole bunch of bottles that were under 200 bucks each yeah right so <clears throat> yeah. with with a thousand bucks we got eight bottles each yeah right that's pretty good which is great yeah which is great I mean no longer could get any of this stuff for that price probably no, but no. right but um, yeah I think it was I think it was a, a cool social experiment for sure. You can get the Aaron 10 year old still. You can, and the Glen Alecky, uh yeah. 12, you can definitely get Those for Those are still available prices. for the prices we quoted. You can and, find it. And I cheap. do see the Anak still kicking around for yeah. around 200 bucks. Yeah, yeah. Man, right, the 24 year old. Yeah. Well, that was this cool. Big Kelpie is also pretty solid. Is it good? Yeah, it's nice. I'm wondering, like, if I. I'm trying to think of something I should drink now, but. I think I should save my palate if we're gonna do another one. Okay. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, whiskey draft. We had fun doing it. It was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll make it an annual kind of thing. You know. With the prices, are we listing the prices on the in the comment section or the? Yeah, the, we'll have a list of all the, um, the eligible bottles that we had in the description down below with the yeah. prices. So you can take a look and see what we picked and see got what got left. Yeah. What would you pick? Yeah. If you didn't have to do it at draft style, what sure. would you pick just randomly? What would be your $1,000 budget? Yeah, let us know. Uh, make sure you vote, either yeah. Team Jeremy or Team Rob, and uh, let us know in the comments down below what, uh, what you guys would be picking. Yeah, and this, this video is going viral. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, have your chance to win some samples. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. Yeah. Yeah, a nice, uh, a nice flight. I mean, my goodness. Yeah, pretty really good. Pretty good. I, I think Maybe I would have hit a few bottles if uh, I thought this through <laughs> at a time. <laughs> well, thanks so much for watching, guys. We really much appreciate it, and have a good one. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>